Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Hey, you want to have some good old papery fun and make the universe a better place by using up some junk mail? Let's do it and let's make some awesome large journal cards that are so easy your socks are going to fall off. Okay, um, this is a lot of fun and uh, we're just going to, let me show you a couple prototypes. So here's the back of one. I just put some book paper down here. This is like the inside first or page or two of a uh, of an old book. That's why it has that beautiful um, uh, vanilla color. And this is an envelope that I have put some modeling paste on. So it has some texture to it. I've inked around it. And isn't that cool? That's just something kind of fun that you can tuck into your, your uh, junk journal cards. And I'll show you how to stiffen them up so they have a little bit more rigidity. Here's another one that has been completed. Um, you can you can model paste right over the windows. You can put something behind the windows. Here I put some washi tape and Here's a little place for writing. I used up uh, um, some journaling paper with some ribbon and stamps just for fun on the back. Had a lot of fun inking these. These two I just made, they're still drying. I uh, have not completed the backs yet, but I used material, uh, thin muslin, cotton muslin material in the back and just um, used some white modeling paste. Okay. All right. Very cute, right? And um, so let's do this. Okay. Let me move that. Let me grab. Okay, here's an envelope. Ready, ready and waiting. And let's see, I cut a piece of direct mailer, just like a card or something like this, to just a little smaller than my envelope size. And here it is. And I'm going to put uh, some washi tape down um, over where the, it would be in this window. So let's say if it was going here, let me see if I can get a piece off. And if your washi tape bites you, you can stick it in the microwave for about five or 10 seconds and that will soften the glue, whether it's, it doesn't seem sticky enough or it's too sticky and too dry. Uh, that will do the trick. Okay. Uh, could have probably done that with this one, but I didn't quite make it over to my microwave. So there you go. All right. All right, I think I'm going to be okay. All right, let's just put this down. Okay. Now, if you can still see through it, you can always put more on top. Nothing says you can't, right? You can just keep going uh, and layer it up a little bit. You don't have to put that much down. This just happens to be a really wide one that is very dry and very old. And I've heard that Mwashi has a life span, but you can, you can resurrect it. So it can last for years if you do the microwave trick. So I don't know how many times you can microwave a roll, but if you're microwaving a roll, that means you're using it and that's probably a good thing. So, all right, let's just go here. All right, we'll try this, we'll try this, see if it works. Might look like crazy town or it might look really cool. Let's see, let's just see, let's just see. What do we get, what do we get? Oh, there we go, we're blocking it up there. Less, it's becoming more opaque. And you don't have to cover every single little word, but if you want to, you can. And um, you can also do a little collage in there. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay, this is a washi tape collage I'm doing right now because I'm just using the same old washi tape. What, I have some washi over here. I don't really need it there because that's not going to show. So I'm just going to fo focus on where it shows. Okay, this is really old washi tape. Okay. Okay, I'll just stick a piece there. Okay, that's good. There we go. All right, that's pretty good, right? Okay, so that's going to do it. I think that's going to be just fine. Let us test and see what it looks like. And if all is well, we will, we will proceed. Oh, we have a little tail because this one's really close to the edge. So let's just get back, back over there with our little remnant piece here and maybe put that right there. There we go. That should do it. That should do it. All right, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue stick on the back just because I think it's going to help glue the whole thing down. And a great way to use up junk mail. Direct mailer cards are nice cardstock style paper. Look at that. Look at that. And if you want, you could even put some on the inside if you want to totally adhere the whole thing together so it's not floppy crunchy. But if you like floppy crunchy, then you don't need to do this part. Okay. All right. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so we have that in play. All right, now we're just going to seal it up because we can. I'm going to use the Scotch Create glue stick. Welcome to all the new folks who have recently come along. Hello and, and big uh, hugs and welcome to the land of junk journals, making books out of basically nothing or whatever you have around you, um, leaving a legacy for those in the future to come and explore this wonderful craft. Uh, there we go. All right, put you there. 
get you going. Now let's color this baby. And maybe we're going to color this one. I haven't done a blue one yet. Let me do a blue one. Looking for my blue. Looking for my blue. Here's my blue. All right, I thought that would contrast nicely with this. Okay, so let, let's see. Let's just prove that to ourselves. Let me spritz this with a little bit of water. That's just going to wet it up a little bit so everything gets all colorized. Ready? Here we go. Coloring. Coloring. Co and I'm going right over the plastic because the plastic doesn't really grab it because it's, it's plastic. Look how quickly we have transformed what that looked like. Boy, that doesn't look anything like what we started with, right? No, not at all. All right, so we can do the same on the back if you wish. If you so wish, you can do this. Um, yep. Adding a little water or a little water and glycerin really does wake up your ink pad. Okay, there we go. We instantly have a blue envelope. How cool is that? That is so cool. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with that. I haven't done a blue one yet. All right, and what I'm using is some modeling paste. This is basic modeling paste from Liquitex. And they have a, this is a really old one, but you can get a newer one. The labeling I think is pink and black, but it's the same stuff. You can find it in my Amazon shop if you're looking for any of that stuff. And you can find it at most of the big box stores. So you squeeze out a bunch of that. Okay. And then maybe I'll use that same stencil. I thought it was kind of cool. This vintage keys stencil. All right, let's just put it this way this time. All right, here we go. And you just put, I don't know, like a to like maybe a week's worth of toothpaste on there. And just go here and you, you, you not too hard. You wanna leave some uh, elevation, okay? So if you find that you have, what is it, like a string or something in here from a past sewing project, that happens. Um, but you can go ahead and go over it several times so you get a nice thickness. Uh, I like it a little thick. You can do it thinner. Totally fine. And uh, maybe I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put a key on it, but I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to do it. Let's take this off and see what it looks like. Oh, it's so cool, isn't it? Um, where it's not exactly perfect, that means my, my stencil isn't sitting perfectly flat, but that's okay. I can live with that. Okay, let me put these two little, maybe these three little keys there and we'll see what we get. Let me, oh, we don't want to smush what we did. No. Okay, so we'll put these two and a half keys. Okay, well, let's do that. All right, here we go. More modeling paste, please. Okay, we have it. Okay, here we go. All right, and here we are. Modeling paste, modeling paste. You can go right over the plastic. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, am I off the, I'm off the, uh, I'm, now I'm modeling pasting the uh, book behind it. Okay, that's all right. You got a little off course. It happens in life. It happens. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's kind of cool, right? How cool is that? Very cool. Now you can have a lot of fun with that and do fun things. But maybe we want to put a little bit of something right in that little corner. Oh, don't touch anything, Pam. Okay, so we have so much leftover on this. We'll probably use it up. Okay, there we go. There's just a little more. Now the nice thing about using the, car the catalog is when you're done, you can just whoop, Tear it away and toss it aside and you have a brand new clean area to work with. So um, it's probably the best idea to go run off and clean this right away, but I will do that later because I want to hang out with you guys. Um, so I'm going to let this air dry for a bit and we're going to make another one. Let's do this. All right, so what do we got this time? Okay, here's an envelope and it's a little bit different. Its window is in a different place, but let's see, do we have, yes, we have lots of, uh, um, we have lots of direct mailer cards because they come here like water for some reason. Okay, let's just make a little, where do you want to go to there? Okay, let's do you there. Let's move that. Oh, how long do we want to be? Let's just measure everything. Let's just get it all done in one felt swoop. All right, I'll drop. You can mark it with a pencil too. I'm, I'm just being extra lazy because I left my pencil in the other room. Um, okay, put that over there and let's cut a piece all right we can use the craft square to square it up let me check if you can see no can't okay i'm backing it up so you can see a little more all right from the top to the bottom okay go slow with the craft knife always keeping your eye on the blade and then turn this too much stuff on the desk did i tell you i'm like in the middle of making um 
bundles and I'm working on two journals. And um, so it's been a craft explosion around here. And for those of you who happen to see my Friday video of how I cleaned my desk, that was a, that was 100 million years ago and much has happened since then. Yes, on this desk. Okay, so now if we're doing this one, we, let's see if we can fit first of all. It looks like you're going to fit. It's always helpful to do the test run just so you're not fussing when you're all ready to go. Yeah, we're good. We're good. It's fitting and we're in. Dog is snoring. It is fitting. Okay, so what do we want to do on the inside there? Let's see, are we going to do this? Let's do this one white and black. So maybe, 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 maybe. Let's do this one in like this creamy color. I like that. Let's do that. Um, this is from an old book. Um, it's just the first page or something like that with that pretty vanilla old-fashioned paper. Dog is still snoring. I don't know if you can see it's really quiet, but he's so cute when he snores. He's just a little, a little, a little gipper. All right, and let's stick this inside so it uh, stays in one place. And let's put a little here too, just to say we did. There we go. Belly up to the bar here, coming in. <laughs> there we go. What was I going to do in there? I was going to do, oh, I was going to do something. What was I going to do? Maybe I was going to do stamps. Up oh, too late now. <laughs> it's in there. All right, that's okay. We'll leave it as is. And uh, let's close it. You can always put something on the top, on the front. And let's get the black rolling. Okay, here's black soot. This other one was broken china, in case you were wondering. And the pink one I made earlier, this one, was... Um, Worn lipstick. Okay, so let's get our catalog back because we're doing some serious color in here. And maybe let's wet up our black just a little bit. Okay, that's just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hew heavily around the edge. I was probably just gonna do the whole thing. Who are we kidding? Because so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use the white. I think it's gonna show up really good. Yeah, you don't have to cover every little inch, but primarily most of it would be good. Rewetting with water or with water and glycerin to your pads will help them um, reactivate the dried uh, inks if you have dry ink. If your ink pad is empty, then you just need to get a re-inker or get a new pad. Um, you may have seen me try some instant coffee uh, crystals and water and alcohol, a couple drops in this, and then pour it on my um, uh, this one. The other day, walnut stain, and that worked really well to reactivate this. So far, nothing horrible has happened. I'm, I'm sure manufacturers don't uh, recommend it, but I wanted to try it for you guys, and so you could see what would happen. And there you go. We're not using. We are using white. Okay. Okay. I guess we're using white. Well, I already have some, so let's just keep going with this. Um, wasn't technically the plan, but let's see. Um, okay. Let's use a different stencil. Oh, let's you know. Let's use our old favorite. Whoop. Oh my god, everything's going every which way. Leafies or, or branches. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. All right. Don't have to do the whole thing. You just do sections if you want. There's no rules. No, no rules. Nothing. Nothing going down here. All right. Now that's going to white it up quite a bit. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we're looking at. I have no idea what this looks like. That's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. It looks mysterious. Yeah. Um, you can do stuff over here, but since not much grabbed, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take that off. Yeah, I'm gonna take it off with the old finger tool, and maybe we'll do a stamp or something on there. That would be kind of cool. All right, what are you? Nothing. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can stamp. You probably need to use some special ink, but well, we got this, so let's just try it. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, inspire. See what happens. Missed the middle. All right, let's hope that dries. We'll find out, right? Inspire, that's kind of cool. It's a letter to Inspire. And I've got the back too. So once the back and every on all the front is dry, then I can come and put some papers on the back to make it an authentic journaling card. But as you can see, these go together relatively quickly and you can make a lot um, in one go. So let's make another because these are fun. And let me just find what time-wise. Oh, yeah, I've got lots of time. Am I recording? Yes. Okay, good. Um, 
grab some more. Hi, honey bunny. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, let's see. If you don't have any mailer card, maybe you can use some pages from a magazine. Maybe you can use like a couple. Just grab some from the center here. That's funny. I've got a tire magazine here right now because I had a flat tire today. Yes, I did. Okay, so tires are showing up in my universe for some reason. Here we go. I fold you over. Will you fit? Nope, you're too big. All right, we're just going to have to nibble you down. Let's nibble you down. Okay, I'm going to make the whole thing a little stiffer. Let's maybe glue the two big pieces together. All right, and then the ruler, ruler, using all our junk today. The true essence of the junk journal. Um, and you can use pretty scrapbook paper and all sorts of different things, but I just happen to have a ton of this stuff around and I focus in on using up what I have, even though I have done a little shopping. It's true, I know, I know, I try not to, but I'm much better this year. Yeah, oh, yeah, much better. Um, okay, are we, are we the, you probably even need a little hair off more. You might be all right. Let's see how long, how long, how long. Okay, to the word splash, I can take you off there. Okay, off you go. All right, so now that's going to give us a little bit of structure for our envelope. And then we have to figure out what we want to put on top here. So what can we do? We can, um, we can put a little bit of material. Let's put some material there and see how that goes. Here's some pretty material. Um, where's, the, where's the thingy? Okay, so it's going to be there. So let's just put a bunch of glue down here. Actually, I'm going to put glue all over the thing because it's going to stick to the front. That's going to be fine. About there should cover all everything. Take any little bump out. Oops. Um, okay, there we go. That should be good. And are you coming apart? Okay, we'll just stick you together. Stay together. No, don't all fall apart on me. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, you don't. You go back together. Okay. All right. And you over here, we're going to put a little glue on you too quickly before we get it all over the place. I hope I put this on the right side. There. Okay. Yeah. Phew. Phew, fees. <laughs> all right. We got a little room time to move things with this glue stick. So there you go. Now we're putting this in, opening it up. I haven't done it this way yet. Let's see with the magazine how this works. Okay, slide it in. Oh, I'm going to get it over the little lip. Okay, better if I cut it a little shorter, but it is the right size. I just have to wiggle it a little more. Okay, and you're in. It's almost like a, a filled envelope. Okay, let's just seal you up while we're here. Alrighty, there we go. Uh-huh, and we're filled. Okay, so this time, I'm not going to go so crazy with the black. Ooh, let me get this white stuff all over the place here. Okay, but let's pull out the black again. Here it is. Hey, Bumpkin, did you just wake up? I'm awake now, Mom. I'm really excited because I'm going back to sleep. Good night, everybody. And that's life with a puppy. <laughs> okay, so let's just lightly ink this because we're going to use black modeling paste this time. And you can color your modeling paste if you just buy white and you mix it and all that kind of stuff. But but true black might be hard to get. Um, where's my black dauber? Where are you? I cannot find you. I'll use my backup. Okay. And my stencil can go over here. There you go. All right, here it is. Black soot. And we're inking. And I'm not going too super dark, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use some black modeling paste this time. It's a different brand. I got it on sale at Hobby Lobby a while back. And I'll just go around here for fun. Okay, swirlies. Looks like a misty swirly kind of sort of day. And I'm gonna do the back too. Don't snooze, Pam. All right. Okay. Back in action. I'm with you. All right. 
So I hope you're having a grand fun time today. I hope you're getting some time to craft or if not, just kicking back, having coffee, waving your, uh, shaking your little sneakered, uh, sneakered feet, your little uh, slippered feet at me because you're, you're just uh, having a snuggly day. I hope, I hope that is the case. And let's get a stencil. Okay. What are we going to use today? How about some music? Okay, there's a little music one. Let's get that. All right, Tico. Here we are. All right, let's try this one. Oh, maybe we'll go like this. Is that the right way? It's hard to tell. This is like mystery music. Okay, now let's get the black stuff. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Okay. And I've deduced, of course, I, I was looking for a scooper and I have not produced a scooper. So, you know what that means. Finger tool. Yeah, there we go. Finger tool. Um, you should probably use gloves and you should probably use like a, a wooden popsicle stick or something. But if you're like me, okay, I only have one of these right now. So I'm just going to put on the back. I have like a thousand of these. Who am I kidding? But it's just right here. Okay. Messy pants. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh, that looks really cool, right? Huh? Huh? That looks neat. Very cool, huh? Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay. Uh, maybe I just want to put a little here. I'm putting it right over the plastic, too. I'm so, I'm feeling bold. Be bold with me today. Let's go places we've never been. All right, there we go. That's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. And, um, okay, so I'm, I, I should probably do something really important with that, but, oh, gosh, it's so dirty. I'm just going to chuck it. Um, where's the baby wipe? Oh, Lord, it's here somewhere. I was using it earlier. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, I really need my kingdom for a baby wipe right now. Oh, I see them. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Okay, we have success. We have a baby wipe. It's always a good idea to keep something to wipe the little fingers. Okay, now really go ahead and wash this off because that will harden on there and I don't want you to ruin your stencils. But let's say, look at that. I didn't retract the craft knife. Bad crafter. Make sure you do that. Um, let us get a, here we go. This is not the greatest one. I want to get a Stabilo pencil. Where are you Stabilo pencils? I know, I know you're here somewhere. Aquarelle Stabilo Pencil. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah. Okay, because so, I want to emphasize... Let me just get rid of this because it's going to mark the back. But I want to emphasize the edge of the window so it can be seen a little bit more. Okay. Now that doesn't look like much, but this Stabilo Aquarelle pencil is the kind of pencil that uh, acts like a watercolor of a pencil. Um, it liquid, it moves. I'll show you. Okay, here we go. Oh, well, let's put a little on my finger. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you look at that. It, all of a sudden, you've got emphasis. Yeah, it moves it and it amplifies it, and things happen that you didn't know were going to happen. So there you go. All of a sudden we have an emphasized window. Look at that. That's kind of cool, right? And um, I think this particular project lends itself to having a stamp on it. Um, I think maybe even a, a colored stamp or a real stamp or um, um, what would you like? How about a word? We don't have a word on this one. Let's put the word imagine. That looks kind of cool. Do we want to put it here or here? Let's put it here. It's going to show up better. On angle? Okay. There we go. Now we're talking. All right. So we have a journaling card, which when once dry, we can turn over and put something on the back. So let me, let me check our earlier ones to see if they are drying. And if they are drying, we will move ahead and put the card on the back so you can just see that completed process. Um, okay, so whoop, here's, whoop, oops, whoop, okay, get rid of that. Here's an original, here's an original, and here's their backs for extra writing space. Officially making them journaling cards. All right, here's, did we make this one together? Not sure, but um, there's this one. Let me just test. Mm, not bad, could dry a few more minutes. How about you? Are you dry? Oh yeah, you're, you're almost dry. You're like, I could take you there. And my pink one, where's my pink one? 
Okay. Yeah, I think you're pretty dry. We can do things with you. Okay, so let's... Uh, how, you notice that the white does absorb some of the pink color, but it still looks pretty cool, I think. Yeah, okay. And, uh, you know, maybe you want to have a word on this one. Hmm? Maybe you do. Maybe you want to have um, beauty. How about beauty? And maybe in brown? I don't know. Or green? How about green? That might look cool. Or blue? Blue would look cool, too. Let's just see what happens. There we go. Now we have a word. All right. Um, we could also, okay, let's just, let's just put the paper on the back so I can show you. Okay. So this is pretty easy and you can use multiple things. For example, I had came across this somewhere in my, in my travels. Bah, ha, ha. And I think I got it at a thrift store and I just took out the centerpiece. So funny how we tear apart journals to make journals. Um, and I put it here. Now it had um, strings down the center. That's why that looks like that. But then I took it like this and I pseudo measured like this. You see? All right. And then I took this little guy and rounded the corners to make them match the other guy. And then I glued it down and you can emphasize the edges if you want to. Let's see, where's my brown? I mean, I'll just put a little brown around here so it pops a little bit. And it makes it look a little more vintage, a little more aged, a little more, you know, been around the block. And let's glue this down. I happen to have some art glitter glue, good uh, uh, wet white glue. Okay, it's clogged. <laughs> it's fantastic. I have, a, I have a little needle here to clear it, but I, oh, yeah, there it is. Um, I haven't used it in a while, so it gets uh, plugged a little easy. And I um, left a uh, pin in that um, it wasn't a stainless steel pin, so it did rust a little bit, but eh, it doesn't bother me. It's, the glue still works. Okay, so sometimes you get some brownie, funky looking stuff, but the glue is fine and it will still work. And if you use stainless steel pins, that won't happen at all. All right, come on, come on, baby. Come on, you can do it. All right. And let's flip this over. You could glue stick this down too. That would be fine. All right. You got to, like, this stuff grabs pretty fast, so make your decision. When you put it down, it's going down. All right, and then you could put a little something here, like, uh, oh, we got this washi tape. Let's use that. Um, okay. Just like maybe you want to, you don't have to do this, but this is optional. Maybe you just want to um, do that. Yeah, that's the dog. That wasn't me. I'm <laughs> just saying. All right. So now you have a place for somebody to write on the back with some cutie uh, little uh, things there. And maybe you want to give them a prompt or, or something. Um, what was the theme of this one? This was a bird. Okay. And it goes that way. Okay, so let's do, um, how about dream? Dream is a nice word. Um, let's put, um, I think we have it in green on the front, so we'll, we'll do green here. Dream. Okay, there we go. Just on the back. Something very simple, very easy. Um, it worked with the, um, it has enough stiffness to be a nice journaling card. You can also use this as a uh, cool bookmark. That would be awesome. Um, let me do a little inking around the edges just for fun. I think that might amp it up a little bit and uh, just make it look a little cooler, a little cooler. Um, it'll pop off nicely off of any page. It can be um, clipped to a journal page, tucked in between two signatures, um, clipped onto a front or a back cover on the inside. That would look really cute too. And, um, you know, you could go around here with something. Let me see if I have something. I'm sure I have something. I'm going to look for a little tiny something. What would that be? What would that be? What? This, this will work. Okay. Um, I have this white. Nah, maybe I want to. Do I want to do that? Why not? I'm, I'm feeling compelled. So I'm just going to do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So should I put it here? Should we, I think I'll put it there. All right. I'm going to put that there. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm going to use Fabrifix clear silicone glue. Fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. If you've never seen it, it looks like this. And I just like this glue. Everybody has their own favorite glue. Um, not sponsored. I just, I just like that glue because it's very reliable, very strong. 
and uh, it will hold things well. Okay. Okay, go together. Go together. Look like you belong. All right, so now we have that. Oh, you look, you're slurping down there. You're sloping down. Okay, there we go. And you can keep going. You can keep doing things to these. Like, let's say you want to pull out your amazing stickles collection because you can. And how about I'll pull these out? I've got this one, stickles in, what color is this? Glisten, glisten, glisten. We're going to do some stickling. All right, let's see. We might need the pin. Where's the pin? You know, I have a thousand pins. You think I can find one right at the moment? No, I can. Sometimes these get clogged, sometimes they don't, but you just use a pin to clear the decks and then you're off and running. Okay, and it's not mandatory. It's just something fun. And maybe I'll, should I put it on the bird? Give him some stickles on his eye. That would be cute. And maybe on the the points of the feathers. Yeah, that's pretty. These are going to dry to a little sparkle. It's very important we let these dry. Mm -hmm. Why? Because otherwise you'll get it all over everything. How do I know? Watch some of my other videos. You'll see. <laughs> I will prove to you how that is done. Yes. Okay. And pretty much, you know, you can just have, go to town with this as much or as little as you like. And um, it can be a nice little accent on your stuff. Uh, maybe put one before the beauty and after the beauty. You can accent little words. Uh, maybe I'll put some on this little honker beak here. There we go. Um, can you see? Oh, no, let me, let me come down to me. There you are. Okay, so if you can see the, can you see the glitter? I hope so. It's very pretty. Um, and you can go with other colors and pinks and golds and, and all, you can just have a lot of fun. Um, let's see if we can amp up around the uh, little window there. I just feel like I want to do something to it, you know? I just want to do a little something. What should I do? What should I do? How about this? I don't know. What is this? A yellow of some sort? Mm, I don't think so. Go back over there and keep digging, Pam. All right, here's a nice neutral. Maybe too neutral? Yeah. Okay, back over here. Um, okay, I have two whites. I have like a sheer white. It dries clear. No, we don't want that. Um, this one dries white. This is a white. Okay, let's do the white. Now, there's a lot of ways that you can do that little design. Oh, 